everybody so today I wanted to do a video a more vlog style video and my last vlog style video I did the haters aren't motivators video and that was more of a just I was so fed up and I had so much bottled up inside me and I just turned on my camera and I just blurted it out and I uploaded it just because you know I was like you know what I'm gonna upload it anyway I don't even care and it actually got really good feedback I think and I wanted to do another video sort of like that just because a lot of people commented on that video and on my other videos and on my YouTube and everything just saying how do you deal with hate or I'm starting YouTube and I get made fun of and at first I wasn't really going to do a video on it just because I didn't really know what to say or I didn't feel like I had a solution for anyone and I feel like I just would be talking and it would be stupid and then I went back and I visited my high school and I was just in the lunchroom talking to my younger friends and these two girls came up to me and said oh we watch your videos and I was like that's so great thank you so much and the one girl said yeah I used to make YouTube videos too and I was like oh well why don't you make them anymore and she said well I get made fun of and it was just the most like it almost got me so mad just because I was standing in that lunchroom where I used to get made fun of for the same exact thing where I used to get people would yell at me from the other lunch tables I used to get like food thrown at people were just like the lunchroom is like where everything goes down and that's where you get made fun of the most and for this girl to be telling me in my old lunchroom where I got made fun of that she was getting made fun of for the same thing it just made me so like angry and just I wanted to do a YouTube video about it and I wanted to help her and I wanted to shake her and just be like don't give up just because of these people I wanted to make a video just about dealing with hate and how I've dealt with it and how you should really not let it affect you and so first off just dealing with hate um, I've been on YouTube for almost two years now and when I started it I just cuz I really went into it kind of blind I guess I didn't know there was a beauty community I didn't know it was such a big deal I wasn't expecting anything from from it I just did it because I wanted to and that's honestly the best way to go about it if you're gonna start a YouTube don't do it because you want to be the girl with a hundred thousand subscribers or you want to get a few free eyeshadows or you want to get 50,000 views if that's why you're doing YouTube then that's not gonna be a really great channel and I just went into YouTube and my website because I wanted to and I thought it was cool and I just liked doing it and then I just suddenly got this following and when I got the following at first it was really cool I got really sweet comments I started making all these guru friends and then eventually I started getting hate and just like troll messaging and rumors started about me in the comments and on guru gossip and it was so hard at first it's like there was a point where I wanted to stop making YouTube videos I would text my guru friends and Facebook message them in all caps saying I hate YouTube I hate this I want to quit I like I want to stop this is horrible I hate YouTube like you can ask them and it's true we've all gone through it we all just get in these moments where we feel like we just hate it so much because people are just really mean and it's hard when you're first starting because people at your school find out about it your friends find out about it some people don't even know about it like I know some of my guru friends never none of the people at their school ever knew some of them kept it a secret still have it a secret it's literally a double life I used to call it my double life but people at my high school knew all the time and I used to get made fun of constantly even by my own friends even though it would be just teasing or just little jokes it obviously would hurt my feelings like I'm a human I am self-conscious I have a low self-esteem I feel bad about myself a lot so it would really hurt me but I would get home and then I would see all these great comments and I'd be like wow like this is really great and then I would hit 10,000 subscribers or 15,000 subscribers because I was working so hard on it and I didn't let anyone get in my way I would go to school I would get made fun of I would be so miserable the way home and then I would get home and I would sit in front of the camera and I'd be happy again and so I never let it stop me from doing what I wanted to do and that's the biggest thing is if you're gonna deal with the haters you can't let them win because why would you want them to win that's what they're doing they're making fun of you they're tearing you down they're trying to tear you down to nothing and if you get torn down to nothing then they win and that builds them up and you don't want to do that you want to prove them wrong and that's my biggest thing is I just feel like I feel like the best thing that's like come out of this is that I have been so successful and I have made so many friends and I've inspired so many people and if I would have let all those kids stop me from doing what I am doing on YouTube I would have never been able to have that opportunity and I just feel like it's a really big like slap in the face to them like you made fun of me you 
tormented me and look where I am now and it's amazing that I never let that get to me because I easily could have just stopped and I didn't and I'm still going and that's the biggest thing and that's what I think everyone should do and I know it gets really hard and there's obviously a certain point where it needs to stop like mine was just getting made fun of getting just you know like the typical little bullied at school nothing was I wasn't getting death threats or like anything like that like nothing was to the point where I couldn't handle it yes I did need to seek help and I did need to get help from other people I couldn't always deal with it by myself and that's a different issue and that's a different point but if you're just getting made fun of at school and getting a little bullied you need to know that those people aren't your friends you need to know that you can't let those people get to you you can't let them know that they're getting to you you just need to stay strong have your support system there like your family your close friends and do what you love and if that's YouTube then that's what you're gonna do and once you get through that it gets so much easier the only thing that is really hard is obviously once you do become more successful on YouTube you start getting more of the hate comments and getting the hate on guru gossip and whatnot and it's really really hard but that's stuff that you can kind of almost run away from um what we me and my other guru friends do is we just block and delete like I used to always comment back and always defend myself and I would get so upset I know I've had I've been in class and I would get texts saying are you okay and I would get another text saying why are people saying that? And I'd be like, oh great, what's going on? I would have no idea. And I would have to get texts from my grandma and my mom and my friends saying, are you okay in your latest YouTube video? Like, what's wrong? And I'd be like, oh great. And I'd have to go and I'd have to delete comments and reply to comments and just, it was like damage control. And so I put my comments on approval and that helped a lot with filtering out the hate and just the stupid rumors and just the people that really just wanted to start a fight and just be stupid and so that really helped a lot I definitely recommend putting comments on approval if you really think it's necessary it does take a lot of work especially if you get a lot of comments it kind of sucks but it helps a lot from people just interacting and starting all these rumors that are clearly not true and I took my comments off approval recently just because I finally got to the point I think where the hate does not bother me as nearly as much as it did before I used to like read Guru Gossip, which I don't read anymore. I think it's stupid. If you don't know what it is, don't even look it up. It's just a gossip site about gurus that is just horrible people with no lives just talking about us when all we're trying to do is something good for you guys. It's got to the point now where I will see a comment and I will see a hate comment or something and I just know that it's someone stupid just sitting behind their computer just talking and trying to cause a fight and trying to start drama has nothing better to do and I just don't let it affect me anymore and it took me a really long time to get to that point and so what I'm saying is you it's not gonna be easy nothing's gonna happen overnight you had to stay strong and get through it I never gave up I've been in such low points where I almost gave up and almost just stopped and the fact that I didn't makes me so happy and it's almost like I'm proud of myself because I could have given up so many times and I never did and I really just want no one else I to I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I know it's a little rambly and I know it's not like the best advice ever but I really just wanted to address it to just say that it is hard that everyone goes through it and you need to stay strong and if you're passionate about it you need to keep going. You need to find your support system. You need to find your real friends. You need to not let them get to you and you need to find what makes you happy because honestly you're going to be less happy doing something you don't want to do. Even though I hated getting made fun of and I hate getting hate comments on YouTube and I hate that people start rumors about me, I'm so much happier doing YouTube than I was doing a different sport that I didn't like or doing something I didn't like. YouTube was probably my best decision even though I, it's such a blur to me how it all happened but I would never ever let hate stop me from doing this because it makes me so happy and I'm being myself and really just creating myself and I would never want someone to feel restricted because of hate people out there that will hate on you no matter what and make fun of you no matter what and those are the people that are too weak to follow their dreams so don't let them stop you from following yours that's just stupid of them and you have bigger dreams you have a bigger passion do what you do best stay strong and you will succeed and they won't so don't let hate stop you from wanting to start a YouTube, from being yourself. Just go for it, and in the end, it will be worth it, I promise. So that's the best advice I can give. I just really wanted to make that video, and I hope you guys got a little something from it. And I just love making these kind of videos where I just talk because 
you guys say that I inspire you, but it's really the other way around. The messages I receive, the comments I receive inspire me so much from you guys. And I've really changed as a person in the past year and a half. It's crazy. So I just want to thank all of you so much. And I want all of you to stay strong and do what you believe in and everything like that. So I love you guys. Bye.